Hi, I'm Alan Louie, founder of Imagine K-12, a startup accelerator for companies working to improve K-12 education. Thanks, Paul, for inviting me to your MOOC, and thanks to all you students for using your energy and brain power to improve learning worldwide. I started Imagine K-12 about two years ago with my friends Tim Brady and Jeff Ralston. Our goal is to have a bigger impact on K-12 education than any one company could have. We believe innovation comes from small teams, so we founded Imagine K-12 to support those kind of teams. The three of us are ex-engineers who migrated to the business side. I worked at NASA, Caltech, and Google, among other places, doing software engineering, product development, sales, and business development. However, none of us are educators, and that's where you come in. As you know, there's a huge movement going on in EdTech. It's never been easier to develop new technologies and iterate them to success. You can see this from reading EdSurge, which I highly recommend, to participating in Startup Weekend, networking at meetups, or joining Imagine K-12. Each Imagine K-12 session lasts three and a half months. It's run twice a year in Palo Alto, California, and so far we've had three sessions with a total of 30 startups since we started in 2011. We provide seed funding up to $20,000 per team and lots of mentoring, contacts, a cohort of other ed tech startups for support, dinner talks by education and tech luminaries, and a demo day with over 100 EdTech-friendly investors at the end. You may have heard of some of our teams, Class Dojo, EduCreations, Hopera, Socrative, No Red Inc., and Study Room, which is a study community for MOOCs, plus 24 others. Imagine K-12's next application opens in April for the summer 2013 session. So you have a few months to find a co-founder or two, ideally folks you know well and get along with, and submit an application. It's best to have both education and technical expertise on the team so you can code quickly and in the right direction. We are big believers in the lean startup method as the new approach to innovation, where a minimum viable product plus rapid iteration and design thinking are critical for success. Innovation is generally the realm of startups who tackle problems with newer and, by definition, unproven approaches. In contrast, the incumbents usually optimize for scaling their existing solution versus creating new ones. Over the past decade, even mighty Microsoft has been sidelined by startups at the time, such as Google, Facebook, and Amazon. K-12 education has traditionally been startup unfriendly with slow sales cycles using top-down decisions and implementation. However, the internet and new digital native teachers and students have created a bottoms-up startup-friendly environment. This can be seen at Edmodo, where 14 million teachers and students have signed up in four years, and Class Dojo, where 4 million have signed up in about a year. Critics note that this growth is with free products with unproven business models, but supporters, such as myself, counter that many services are winner-take-all, you can think of eBay, Facebook, Twitter, and Google. So rapid growth with plausible business models to try as you get traction makes sense. In order to have sustainable education innovation, you need at least two elements in your company. One, make sure you are truly improving educational outcomes. And two, make money to fund continuous improvement. I'm bullish that this will work for K-12, but it remains to be seen, and there's only one way to find out. As Alan Kay said in 1971, the best way to predict the future is to invent it. Education innovation is hard, and it takes two domains of expertise that generally don't interact, education and engineering. I'll bet in your MOOC are the seeds of many great collaborations between educators and engineers, and a few startup companies in there. Please work hard to find each other because you need both to build an effective and successful education company. So good luck 
and thanks in advance for creating the future of education. Good luck.